We have been studying about various situations involving fire on board a ship. We also studied about two specific situations involving fire in a cargo hold at sea, as well as shore cargo hold fire. Basically these articles deal with specific situations and actions to be taken. In this article we will study about a generic situation where fire is involved. As you must be aware fire and explosion often go hand in hand. An explosion can lead to a fire, and a fire can lead to an explosion. So whenever there is either of the two, it is quite safe unsafe actually, to assume that the other might follow suit. Hence it is necessary to follow fire and explosion principles and procedures, lest the proportion of damage goes out of hand. 1. Raise the emergency alarm to determine location of the fire explosion 3. Check for oil hazardous substances. Pollution and possibility of 1. 4. Determine any casualties and provide first aid if necessary. 5. Find out the type of fire. 6. If necessary start the fire pump. 7. In case of engine room fire start the emergency fire pump and close the isolating. Valve 8. Close all the QCVs. Quick closing valves 9. Contain and extinguish the fire. Using fixed system if necessary. 10. Set up emergency distress transmitter and keep ready for use. In port. Stop cargo work. Evacuate shore personnel. Keep main engine ready and inform port and fire authorities. Power failure trouble seldom comes alone. And sometimes it may so happen that apart from handling the fire and or explosion, there might be a blackout situation. The following additional steps must be taken apart from the previously mentioned points. Rivet to manual steering and use the magnetic compass for heading. Engineers to rectify fault and revert to normal power. Take whatever actions are necessary to maintain the vessel in a safe position. If emergency power did not cut in and the vessel is unable to maneuver safely, Securite message must be broadcast and display NUC. Not under command. Signals. As you know, there are several teams which are pre-divided and everyone on the ship knows his her team and location or muster point. The duties of the various Various teams including the main command center team have been described briefly as follows. Command team duties. 1. Fix the ship position and record all movements events. 2. Compile communication reports and monitor weather condition. 3. Inform the technical department and designated person and advise them of the status. 4. Determine the possibility of sinking, breaking up or capsizing in due course. 5. Exhibit the required signals and broadcast a distress urgency safety messages as per the circumstances. 6. Inform the relevant authorities and for sure assistance required. Emergency team duties. One chief officer is to be in charge of any deck emergency. Two second engineer to in charge of any engine emergency. Three identify and assess the source and report to command center. Four contain and extinguish the fire. Five check for oil pollution and act. Accordingly six check stability criteria and stress. Seven assess extent of damage to vessel cargo. Supply if required.